Hey guys, it is me again, finally, after so freaking long. Um, in today's video, we are going to show you how to achieve this stunning premium blonding on natural level 3 hair. Her hair is naturally super dark, but check this hair out. It's honestly unreal. We are beyond obsessed. Like... It's just, it's giving. It's giving everything we need it to give. So keep watching if you want to, you know, see this journey for itself. This is our starting point. Um, her hair has been neglected for a very long time. This is actually my sister from the last video that I did that got a lot of views. I think we're almost at 100,000 views. So that's pretty freaking insane. Um, but yeah, so she used to be an all-over platinum blonde. Then we let that grow. We did a bunch of other stuff in between. And we were like, you know what? It's time to bring the, the blonde back, um, but not all over. We wanted something that grows out more natural, um, just so that it's more manageable for her. So you guessed it. We are doing a full head of air touch. All right, so for those of you that don't know, Air Touch is a minimally invasive highlighting technique where you use a blow dryer, like you see in the video. You push the short hairs, which is your newest hair, and you only highlight the longer hair, which is your oldest hair. When you combine them together, you get the ultimate blend and the ends, because again, that's the longer pieces that you're bleaching they stay the brightest. So it's just, it's such an incredible technique. And I think anybody that wants to go blonde, but a very, this technique is for those people that want that like premium quality blonde that can almost look like, oh wow, like that really is your hair. All right, so for today's transformation, I am going in with Schwarzkopf Blonde Me Lightener. Um, this bleach is incredible. It really is one of my absolute favorites. And I'm starting with 7 volume. But then as I go, I do crank it up. I believe I only used um, 20 volume. Maybe at the very end I added some 30. But for the most part, I try to keep it around that 20 range. Uh, we did not use heat on her hair, so we literally th let this organically lift. An organic lift is going to give you, like, optimal health for the hair. Take that with a grain of salt. There are some cases where I will use a little bit of heat if I really need it. But for the most part, this is why I love Blonde Me. It, it really does the job. 7 volume almost feels like it is their 20 volume. So you can see how big these sections are. We are gonna do a color melt after, so I'm not worried about, you know, taking it up all the way to the scalp, but I am trying to get it as close as I can. It is really difficult, especially because of how big of a sections I am taking. And these are just back-to-back -back air touch. Notice all that long hair that I'm holding, and then she holds the shorter pieces. That's just going to give us that ultimate blend. And I'm using the Fermar Big Papa Foils because they do not let me down when I am doing a project like this. This definitely took us, I would say in total, would be about 13 hours. So make sure you are prepared to be at the salon the whole day. This is 8 plus hour service. Definitely not a cheap service so make sure you consult with your stylist and do your research whether uh, you're looking for a salon or a specific blonding specialist to do a service like this for you it will most likely not be cheap so you know just do your research and get educated and just a quick reminder that these videos are for education educational purposes so if you're not a licensed professional i would not recommend doing this at home you could risk severely damaging your hair if you do not know 
what you're doing. But for my stylist friends, I really wanted to show you guys the process and how it's possible to have a luscious blonde. So this is me mixing it again. Look how tired I am and my sister too. We're just done, but we must keep going. So here I am going back in, resaturating where I feel that it needs more since her hair is so long and that means I have to use so much product the foils get heavy and they start to swell and uh, slide down now blonde me bleach does swell and it's actually one of the reasons why I love it because I love the way that it swells I think when a lightener swells it's really good for saturation doesn't mean that you can be lazy with your application but it really can help ensure that every strand is completely saturated with bleach. So I ended up finishing the foil eventually, and this is me rinsing the hair. Look at that lift. And at this point, we are super tired. Um, in this specific clip, I actually sprayed her with water a little bit. Um... But anyway, so yeah, we were just really tired at this point. So I'm just going to rinse her hair, put a treatment, and that's it. She's going to go home, and she'll come back the next day so that we can finish what we started. I also wanted to thank you guys for watching my videos and supporting me. It's really cool seeing everybody's like reaction and I do appreciate the feedback I think it's really cool seeing you know everybody's different feedback comments to this type of work because it is not for the week I'm just giving her a good head scrub right here because who does not like a good scrub it's very important that you really thoroughly wash out all the lightener before you tone again right now we're just doing we're not even going to tone for today because we were we were done so i'm just scrubbing her scalp getting her hair clean and conditioned two days later guys look at that she let it air dry not even toned and look how stunning that looks crazy just from the bleaching how amazing is that all right so i did her color mill and in another video where i actually film myself doing the color melts i will talk more in depth depth about what I'm doing there but in this case I'm just rinsing it out when I do her retouch I wanted the hair to still lift as if we didn't even do a color melt so I actually didn't let it get as opaque as I usually would have so yeah I'm just rinsing this out and since we didn't get a video of doing the color melt, we're getting a video of this head wash and rinse. She has a lot of hair, so it needs to be very thoroughly, thoroughly rinsed. But look at that tone, already looking so beautiful. So for her gloss, I actually used Wella Color Touch. Listen, a lot has changed since that dark brown to platinum blonde video. At that time, I was using redken because it's basically what I knew but we have evolved and I am proud to say that I actually have my own business now I we are a team of four I have two junior stylists and one advanced and we specialize in color we offer precision haircutting on all hair types and textures coloring as well so no matter your curl type no matter your hair texture we can give you you, the color that you want take that with a grain of salt because your hair history will play a huge role in that and we will not 
tell you we can get you to a, a certain color without actually being able to get you there. So, and here she is. This is the video from the beginning. Um, this is what it looks like when it's toned. We are obsessed. I did, what did I do? I did Wella 1003 and 106. I did the 1003. It's basically a natural gold to help fill in some of the lighter pieces and blend it into some of the not so lighter pieces. Overall, I did do my best to get an even lift all around and clearly it shows. Her hair looks incredible. It feels amazing. And now we are curling it with the Hair Beyond Curl from Bioprogramming. This device is not a regular curling iron. It treats your hair as it styles it. Look how beautiful that is. And you can you can definitely see the color melt at the top. Like it's not really like as blended as I would have liked it to be, but I'm not too concerned because you know she's gonna come back, we're gonna do a retouch, and then we're gonna get it closer to the root. We just wanted to get all the blonde, as, like as much blonde as possible. And look at how stunning that is. Look at her. Literally hair goals. Hashtag no filter. We're obsessed. If you are in the Boston area, we are in Boston, Massachusetts. Boston's top color team. I've been training and mentoring my girls and I couldn't be more proud of them. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. What do you think of Air Touch? I definitely tease a lot as well. I love both. I think it all depends. So yeah, let me know. And check it out in the golden hour. Obsessed. Oh my God, Adelie, in the sun, the shine, that bio pri Adelie, your blonde has not been this shiny. No. Nope. 